my darling dolls. What's up? So today is Wednesday, August 17. I am actually on my way to work from an appointment, but I wanted to jump in here and introduce the vlog. Since you are here, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. Join the crew so you can be around for all the antics as they pop off. You are about to watch the move-in with my baby going to North Carolina A&T, Aggie Pride. I didn't get as much footage as I would have liked to because, you know, we were working, we were moving, and I was in the moment. So, um, you know, I would have liked to have gotten a lot more ideally, but it is what it is. Y'all got what I was able to feel but i hope you guys enjoy watching i was actually not in it at all i realized it afterwards that i got no footage of like me with her but that's okay that's okay we got it it's raw footage it's real that's how it went down so y'all let me know if y'all enjoy it so y'all go ahead and get to it i'll see y'all in a minute A brown cover, a brown pillow, or something. But you done already went gray. No. You did. No, the gray just gonna be. We could try to find a gray rug. That'll be with the gray. Because I don't want gray. I wanted neutrals and. That's why I told you. You threw everything off with that pillow you already bought. But it was, it was either gray or blue. You didn't have to get it. We could have got it from somewhere else. Y'all, this is the look. <laughs> this is the idea. No, not my outfit. This. No, I know. Like, y'all see this? That's kind of like my idea. Like the green and the neutral colors. That's the and like, oh. This, and like white, kind of. I really like this one. Like this, and this, hints of this rust color like something like this you see with the green and everything but i don't want white sheets but this basically i really don't think that hunter green goes oh then you just don't like hunter because i don't like hunter green yeah even though it if you get a dark plant it'll kind of blend with that but i don't like hunter green you can get it if you oh, want to it ain't my room i mean Cute. But if you gonna be if you gonna offset <laughs> if you gonna go offset the light green with the rust, I feel like the hunter green is really gonna throw it off. You got your creams, you got greens. your yeah, green. Don't go with this anyways. Yeah. yeah. So like what would you rather green. have, the hunter green blanket or that throw? I'd rather have a green blanket. I mean, that goes with this. Yeah, so we need to get rid of that hunter green blanket. See, like this brown. That's too dark. No, I just want browns and greens and creams. Yeah, that brown is too dark. I think the rest would be more fitting. It doesn't need to be exactly like it. I just want stuff that goes together nicely. That's what I'm saying. The one that you showed me had brown. I think it's too dark. Kind of ties with because, like, doesn't this just look nice, y'all? See, I did the thing with this in the plant. That is enough. I did the texture. You was finna be all one dimensional. No, this texture, texture. Oh, well, which one would go cutest? Mm mm. He ain't nowhere near me. And these ones over here. No, this ain't it neither. Where is that owl? For goodness sakes. It was all the way down in the cut. 
These ones. Yeah. Like those don't have the texture. Mm -mm. I'm like those ones. But they don't have no other grooves on it. See, don't they got no. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. Don't that go nice? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Come down here and get this one. But this is different thing, but it just went so well together. Yeah. Oh, well. So you want to get that one over the grooves? Yeah. Y'all look. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, she went and got her third, third hole yesterday. Y'all ever get itchy? I mean, uh, <laughs> wait a minute, brother. <laughs> Bro, y'all ever get like the little hairs? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, this is going somewhere, maybe I'm sure. Maybe it's because I have a nose ring, but it, <laughs> it pulls at the threads and it tickles hairs. I mean, the hair, the the fabric of the mask tickles and it makes me itch. <sighs> or has the urge. See, you blowing it, dude. Has the urge to make. Forget it. <laughs> Do you ever get itchy to hairs? <laughs> Now my ear I'm done. You snagged it real bad. That's why. See, like, oh, that's a sham. Don't go. Right? It really doesn't. <laughs> Almost want to iron these. I hate that material. It's you you picked it. Over wrinkled. I know. That's why it was the least expensive. Cause it gets so wrinkled. Yeah, you definitely need a mattress pad. It's giving. Frumpy. It's giving no. <laughs> that Ty has her own kitchenette in her room with a sink and storage and a whole entire private bathroom with her roommate. Like, 
is giving exclusivity. So we forgot to get command strips to put up her wall art. We still have to get some curtains. She has to set up her desk now. Her room has AC. We definitely ain't have no AC in um, freshman year. I don't think so. I have to ask Joe if we had AC. I don't think we did. Okay, let's finish. Hmm? That's never not focused. Can you mind your business, please? Mm -hmm. Unless you want to get in there. Now, <laughs> now, girl. That's the dorm room. I just wanted to jump in here to close out the vlog. You guys came with me and got some of the footage with moving Ty into North Carolina a &T. So in hindsight, I didn't get as much footage as I would have liked to, but you know, I was in the moment. We were trying to get things done because I was trying not to get home um, back to South Carolina too late because I didn't take off of work so I had to work in the morning and um, ended up leaving late anyway I stayed there all day I left at um, I think about 8.30 got home close to 11 but um, it was cool it was cool and a huge milestone of course I'm not about to sit up here and get worked up because if you know me you already know I've been pretty worked up over this whole thing so I'm not even about to do it because I'm about to I just came from a doctor's appointment and I'm about to um, head back to work it is Wednesday August 17th and um it's about noon so i'm about to head back to work but i was like let me jump in here and close out the vlog um oh i gotta tell y'all about my angel family oh my gosh let me tell you my testimony about how god is good okay so listen right grab you some tissues and some popcorn because period so July, Taya did her housing application and she was like, you know, waiting to get her confirmation, her room assignment. So she was calling and emailing the housing department for like a couple of weeks and not getting any response. So she, you know, told me like mid July, like mom, I've been trying to get in touch with them through email and phone and I can't get anybody. Nobody's responding. I still don't have a home assignment. So home assignment, housing assignment. 
So I was like, okay, let me jump in. So I look up on the website, um, one of the executives for the housing department. There was no direct phone number, but there was her direct email. So I sent her a sternly worded email, um, you know, expressing the severity of the situation because moving day is only in a few weeks now. So I sent that a couple hours later, someone gave me a call. It wasn't, it wasn't the executive, but she had somebody else give me a call. So her name was Miss Wilson that I spoke to. And she was like, I'm sorry, you know, your daughter's been having trouble getting through. We'll work on her room assignment right away. Just wanna give you the heads up though, that there's been a lot of overflow and a lot of the kids are being assigned to the inn an inn like a, a motel to the inn about 13 minutes away off campus so i'm like okay that's not going to work for me i i need my daughter to be on campus she doesn't know anybody in greensboro she's an incoming freshman i need her to be on campus so she was like okay i'm just giving you the heads up i don't know if she's one of those students but I'll let them know that you don't feel comfortable with it, but I just wanted to give you a heads up that, you know, that's what we gotta do because it's so much overflow. But you'll get your room assignment, this was a Thursday, you'll get your room assignment either tomorrow through email or at the latest Monday through email. Okay, cool. So Friday passes, Monday passes, still no email, no room assignment. So we get to Wednesday, and I still haven't received anything. Natalia still hasn't received anything. So I send another sternly worded email to the executive. This needs to be rectified immediately. So the next day we have Jamaica. So we leave for Jamaica on Thursday. We're like, okay, we're not gonna worry about it. We're gonna have fun. We'll get everything fixed. If I have to take off of work, spend the day in Greensboro when we get back, that's what we'll do. So we're in Jamaica. We're on the elevator the one day. And let me cut this car off because I'm just sitting here running up gas like it ain't $90. So we're in the elevator the one day. Ty always wears her Aggie band and a family comes in it's it's an older black couple not old but a little bit older i would say they were probably like 48. so the dad is like oh you're an aggie and she's like yes i'm gonna be i'm i'm moving to school next month and so he's like okay they were like our daughter just graduated from ant so we're like oh you know that's cool so that's it i think that happened on the first day we got there so we have our trip we get to Saturday morning. So we're at, at the buffet for breakfast and we're sitting there, we, we eat our breakfast and I'm like, okay, Taya, let's go ahead and go back to the room so we can change clothes, get ready for our excursions. She's like, okay, okay, okay. I know we gotta go and get changed and everything, but I just wanna sit here for a minute. This is our last morning that we'll get to have breakfast because we leave tomorrow, first thing in the morning before breakfast opens, so can we just sit here for a minute? And I wanna go back and get a to-go plate so I can have breakfast tomorrow morning. So I'm like, okay, fine, we'll sit here for a few more minutes. So we're sitting there, and she goes back up to the buffet to ask them for a to-go plate. And I'm sitting there waiting for her, and I see the couple again. And the dad comes over to me, he was like, okay, so your daughter is going to be an Aggie now. And I'm like, yes, we're really excited. I'm very proud of her. And he's like, do you have everything squared away with housing? I'm like, excuse me? Do you have everything squared away with her housing? And I'm like, no, I don't actually. Like, that's the one thing we've been having a lot of trouble with. He's like, well, I have a connect. And the head, that the head of housing is my connect. So, if you need me to help out in any way, I can help y'all. I was like, "Are you serious?" And he's like, "Yes. What can I do to help?" I was like, "Lord, I said, sir, do you know that Jesus sent you over here just now? Jesus sent you over here just now. Like this is total, complete, and utter divine intervention." He was like, "Yeah. What can I do to help?" He like, you know what? Let's exchange information 
We saved each other's numbers in our phones. And he was like, I can contact him. He's like, matter of fact, have Ty. My battery's about to die. He's like, matter of fact, have Ty decide like her top two dorms that she would like to live in. Send it to me and I'll reach out to him. He's like, we're actually heading to the airport as soon as we leave breakfast. Like we're leaving now. And I was like, and like, what are the odds that we would see y'all again right before y'all get on the plane? Like the Lord sent you in here and sent you over to this table. He's like, well, anyway, I can help. So we exchanged information. I was like, yes, I will have her let me know, you know, the top two dorms she prefers and I will text them to you. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. So that was it. They left. Um, so we left the following day. She gave me, you know, the top two that she was thinking of based on, you know, what she's heard from other people and like YouTube videos and things like that. So I sent them over to him first thing Monday morning at like nine o'clock. He was like, okay, I'm going to give him a call right now. So he texts me back like about five minutes later and he's like, okay, I left him a voicemail, but I'm going to try him again later today until I get him. So I'm like, okay, thank you so, so much. Get a room assignment email like two hours later. Everything. Roommate name, the, the hall, the room number, everything. Absolutely everything in the email two hours later. Now, you mean to tell me my baby's been trying to get this information for the last three, four weeks? And he call him in two hours, he call homeboy, and two hours later, we get a room assignment? That's Jesus. That's Jesus. So I'm like, thank you so much. And I'm like, the, the room assignment email they sent me, she's going to be staying in this hall. He like, oh, that's the best one. That's better than even the ones that she chose. Best dorm on campus, right in the heart of the campus. Don't have to worry about her being 13 minutes away from the daggone school. Did y'all really think that was my flight out? I ain't even gonna fool with that. But then he was like, oh, good, 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 good. This is perfect. I'm glad I could help. He's like, what else you need? You need anything with financial aid? I was like, Lord, if, I mean, if you got somebody in there too, he like, yeah, my sorority sister is the head of scholarships for financial aid. I'm like, ugh. Yes, well, if she could, that would be great if she can make sure all of Natalia's grants and scholarships are appropriately applied and if she can point us in the direction of any other scholarships that we can look at. It's like, yep, I got you, I got you. He's like, y'all family now. Like, this is y'all family, whatever y'all need, let me know. He's like, do y'all need help moving in? I'm like, well, it's just the two of us. I mean, that would be great. Do y'all live, like, fairly close to the school? He's like, we live 10 minutes away. Y'all live 10 minutes down the street from the school? Yep. My son is 17. He He's a senior. And he's thinking about going to a and next year, too. I have, I'll bring him up there and we'll help y'all move in. Y'all, they helped us move. He and his son helped us move. He got me hooked up with the housing. Taya got the best dorm. Like, talk to the financial aid scholarship lady. Hook that up. I'm like, this is God the Father. And it really just alleviated all of my concerns about if this is the right path. Should she be going to college? Is this the college that's right for her? Is this what God's, God wants for her purpose? Like, that just told me right then and there that God is. He is all up and through this and he has covered her path and she is going to be just fine. Like, God is wow. Like, I'm not even going. <laughs> I can't even hold y'all. Like, God is wow. Blows my mind all the time. And I don't know why it blows my mind every time because this is what he does. This is what he does. He is beyond amazing. And I cannot tell y'all how much I love him. Just every day. Nothing even has to be going on. And I'm just like crying tears of love and joy for him every day. And then when something like this happens, it just... I just feel so overwhelmed and so full. I just love him so much. He's so good to, to me and to us. And I'm so appreciative. And this is this is like 
I tell them that they're my angel family. Like God sent y'all to us for this whole journey. He's like, and when, it, you know, when they were leaving, when they were helping us move in and they were about to head out and he's like, whatever y'all need, you know, like that's between you and her, like how far you, you want it to go. But just know that we are letting you know that however and whenever y'all need us, let us know. And I was like, I appreciate you and your wife so much and even your son. The daughter graduated. Like I said, she just graduated, but she works at the school. So we didn't get a chance to meet her, but she'll be there. Like, I just feel like, you know, if something were to happen, God forbid, and I had to jump on the road immediately, it's still going to take me two hours to get there. And they like, just let us know and we'll make sure she good until you get here. Like, that's just. God is good. God is good. So I'm going to go ahead and end on that note so I don't talk y'all ear off because I will continue to talk y'all ear off if y'all let me. But thank you so much for joining in and watching Moving My Baby to College. I'm doing a lot better today. I had to take a couple of days before I jumped in there because I had to get myself together. But we done had a few days and she's doing good. Today was her first day of classes. And um, I've been good in the house. My bad, y'all. I'm sitting up here trying to figure out why my phone and how my phone was trying to overheat. And ain't even no sun outside. Like, what the heck? Messed up my whole judge. I was in the middle of a little rant. What now? I don't even remember now. Thank you so much for going on the journey with Moving Ty into a &T. We are good. This is our first day of classes. I've gotten my life together over the last three days. So it's a success. And I know she's in God's hands and he will cover her. And we are all good. So since you are here, please go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. Thank you so much for joining me. Until the next video. That's all, folks.